and joining me. Shadow Minister for Immigration, Dan T. And Dan, thank you for your time. Um, I, I want to start with some of the stuff that happened in the parliament today. You, you pointedly asked Andrew Giles um, about reports that you had picked up from Al Jazeera that the Malaysian hitman uh, convicted for murdering a pregnant woman, blowing up her body. You said the reports are that he's out in the community, that he hasn't got tracking devices. That's true, isn't it? And what was the minister's response? Asked him whether that was true or not, and he couldn't, he couldn't answer the question, and he said he hadn't heard those reports. Those reports had been on Sky News yesterday, uh, Al Jazeera had run a program which was half an hour in length, which had actually been shown uh, globally, and the minister said he didn't know anything about it. It just shows once again how shambolic uh, this government's approach is to these issues, because the more we learn about their handling of this issue, the more it just shows how completely incompetent they are when it comes to keeping Australians safe. I made the point at the top of the show, I think it was pretty low of the minister, um, pretty desperate of the minister, Claire O'Neill, to try and say, you know, she's had her hands on this issue now as minister for 18 months and it's been stuff up after stuff up. But, but to try and say that the only reason this High Court applicant, the child rapist uh, NZYQ, was even um, in Australia was Pete, Peter Dutton's fault. But, of course, he came under the Rudd-Gillard era inside one of those... Uh, boats that landed, 50,000 people came under their watch. Um, it's not Peter Dutton's fault, though, is it? It's not. And it's completely false and they should be ashamed. And if you want to use logic along those lines, then the person who is most to blame is the Prime Minister, who voted for the type of border protection policies that led to 50,000 illegal migrants arriving by boat in this country. That's the reason why this individual is in the country. So Anthony Albanese, Tony Burke, Tanya Plibersek, and all those members of that Rudd-Gillard, Rudd government disaster when it came to border protection are the ones who should hang their heads in shame. But as we have said all along, Peter, and this is the really important point, it's not about what has happened previously, and that's why we haven't dragged that up. What we're focused on is the Australian people's safety right here and now. We have one of these detainees who's out in the community that the government doesn't know their whereabouts, won't tell the Australian public uh, what their offences are, won't tell the Australian public where they are. Uh, there is three others who we're not quite clear uh, where they are or, or what they're doing, whether they're, they're being monitored or not. This whole thing is just a disaster from woe to go.